Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some FTL. Faster than light in this complete beginner's guide. We're in Sector 7, it's a Zoltran controlled sector. So luckily we have a Zoltan, so maybe we can make some friends. Um, I'm going to stay out of the nebula because the nebula can be painful. I'm going to go up here. Let's go. What do we got? All right, right away we have a rock ship, um, and they open fire. Okay, so the rocks want to fight, but this rock ship is terrible. It has two shield bubbles. It has a beam, a missile, and a laser. The missile is kind of scary. Rocks generally have missiles. That's their thing. Um, they have a cloning bay. Okay, no problem. I'm still low on hacking. So I don't think I am going to try to hack this ship. Uh, I think instead... We'll just use missiles. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and fire missiles at their shields. Um, and then... Uh, I'm going to wait for my burst laser. They might get a hit with a missile, but that should be it. Okay, they missed with the missile, which is amazing. And then um, we're going to wait to see if our missile hits them. It did. And then we can just go ahead and fire our burst laser into their shields. Okay, great. Their shields are off. They're not going to be off long enough, but they're off enough so that we can probably get this off. Yes, there we go. So we swept across. Their shields are toast. Uh, let's hit their weapons. They're not going to be able to get us except with a missile. They did hit us, which is unfortunate, but um, perfect. Took them offline. They want to offer us a ton of scrap and some fuel and a part. Ugh. Ooh, boy. I'm actually going to accept it. It's a little weak, but... Uh, the drone part and the fuel are really attractive to me right now. And let's just fix up our ship. And move it on. Okay, uh, there's a store here. I don't really need a store. But it's hard for me to get anywhere else unless I go here, 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 here. Yeah, let's go up to this last nebula. Maybe the store, but I'm trying to get that fourth shield. We could go to the store, buy a bunch of drone parts and fuel and stuff. Um, there's nothing here. That's fine. I'm going to, again, I'm skipping some of these stores. All right, and we've got a rebel ship that wants to fight. Three shield bubbles, kind of scary. They've got um, drones as well, and they have a couple of lasers. Now, the lasers are not scary. Um, okay, what kind of drones? Oh, they have a bunch of drones. Goodness gracious. They've got... A defense drone and an anti-combat drone uh, so that's not gonna work and they have this uh, so we can't really get through with missiles on them which is a bit upsetting uh, but it is what it is we just have to uh, do our best here uh oh let me get everybody back to their stations um, oh did I not set this rock in a station I'm just going to set the rock in the mid-bay then. Okay. And danger. Oh, there's a uh, pulsar. Yeah, this is a shame. Okay. Once the burst laser comes up, we just basically have to... I'm just going to... We have to fire at their shields. We really have no choice. We want to hope a good system of theirs gets taken down. Having our shields get taken down. Oh, their shields did get hit as well. Uh, that's kind of nice. Oh no, our shields. We got hit there. Okay, but their shields are down. So I'm going to go ahead and sweep with my hull beam. Try to get as many rooms as possible. Oh, come on. We can do better than that. Okay, there you go. That's great. All right, we started a fire. We hit a bunch of stuff. 
Let's go. I'm actually going to jump out of here. We should be able to win this fight, but our shields keep getting stunned. We're just taking too much damage. Let's see how this goes. Um, well, their shields are down. No, we can win. It's annoying. All right, their hull is down as well. Take down this. I'm, I'm being stubborn. There's no reason for me to stay here and fight. Um, now this is dumb. Just having our shields continually getting pulsed is, is wrecking us. Okay, let's jump. Um, we're going to go to the store. Forget this. We have a space, a safe space right here. There's no reason. I was just getting way, way, way too stubborn. I'm going to close this door for the moment and work on putting out this fire. Now, luckily, the rock is in the fire room and can just annihilate that by himself, so no problem. And then we're going to have him stomp this out. There we go. He'll repair it. He's going to be slow about it. Let's get that NG over there to help fix it. All right, move it back. Okay, let's go back to the store. Um, and what do we want to buy? This would be really nice. It's so good, but um, so are long-range scanners, to be honest. We're just about at the end, though, so I don't know how much we need something like that. Uh, so instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, buy another one of these. Uh, and we're going to fix up to about here. This should be good. I'll buy one fuel. Okay. I think this is good. So now I'm going to jump. I'd like to get to this distress if we can, uh, but it doesn't connect to anything good. Uh, so I think I'm going to go up here. Oh boy, asteroid field with a huge Zoltan ship. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um, all right. So here we go. They hacked us. They hacked our hacking immediately. All right, then. Fair enough. Not really fair. Um, we need to fire at their shields like that. And we're just, we're going to put everything we can at their shields, honestly. We have to take down their super shields or we just have no chance. Um, right, we can't, we can't get really anything through. Uh, I want to hack their... Uh, if we hack their weapons, that will help us. And let's fire an Artemis at their shields right now. Okay, good. Um, we've hit this, and we're just going to keep trying to hit their shields, take them down. Uh, we did take more damage, of course. Our shields are getting hurt. Um, I'm going to move the Mantis in to repair, even though Mantis is not that great at repairing. And we'll just wait till they charge up and, and stun them. Uh, we can't fire our hull beam. I'm going to fire another missile uh, at their weapons. And then we'll just wait. See if their shields go down. They did. Hull beam can go like that. Okay, we got some of that through. Uh, I did not stun them in time. I did not use my hacking. I was watching I was watching the hull beam, and I missed the timing on that, and that's embarrassing, but you can just go back here and fix that. It's okay. Um, they're actually in a lot of bad shape, too. Um, all right. Oh, they stunned our hacking, though, which I, I should have used it. I didn't even get to use it yet. Um, okay, and let's see. Oh, they killed the drone. Okay, well, that's that's wild. All right. Um, let me go ahead and 
put this across like that. Got him. Okay, so we took like three damage right there, uh, but we got a ton of scrap fuel. Good. All right. If we went here... Uh, yeah, no, we need to push forward. All right, so that's just an empty node. We need more. We got one, two, three, four, I guess. We could also... Ah, we can't really go down, though. We could go... Nah, this wasn't the best plan. We're going to miss some nodes, but it's okay. Hopefully... Oh, man, they're just empty. That's brutal. Let's see if we can get something. Okay. Okay. Um, here's an NG ship that's got about 300 drones on it. Okay, so we're not hacking this thing. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and put a missile. Oh, no, wait. They have what? Defense drone, anti-combat drone, defense drone, anti-combat drone. Right. Okay, this will be interesting. We might have to run away from this one. They hacked our O2, which that actually doesn't isn't that big of a deal. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting to get that happening, but we did. Okay. We did a bunch of damage. We hit their piloting, and we're just going to keep firing right there. They missed with their ion. They fixed that. Okay. Let's see. Missed again, unfortunately. Okay, their shields are down. So let's go ahead and uh, just do as much damage as possible. Look at that hull beam. Oof, so good. The empty rooms, love it. Okay, they're just about toast. Ah, their shields came back online too fast. Okay, no problem. They did fix their shields, actually. That is a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. God, the ion on our shields. Okay, here we go. Toast. They hit us and they started a fire, but here we go. Look at all that scrap. All right, remember, we needed 210 to get that fourth shield bubble. Uh, so we're getting really close to that point. I'm just going to buy it. We can actually power this down. Um, and in some situations where, like, we don't need hacking, uh, we could turn it off. I'm going to turn it on right now for one engine just to uh, get myself four shield bubbles. Great. And we'll go here. And let's participate in their study. And we're being held hostage. So they have some problems. Okay. So this is a ship that we have to fight. Uh, the Mantis are invading us. So we've got people beaming into the weapons. Okay. No problem. We can actually hack for the first time in a bit. So we're going to do it. I bought all those hacking parts, but didn't end up being that useful. We're going to hack their weapons. We're going to put the burst laser at their shields. I'm also going to fire a missile at their shields. Um, let's see, they're sending a mantis and a human over. Uh, I'm going to send just a whole bunch of people in here. I'm going to send the human out. Oh, they sent even more. Okay, no problem. Then in this case, um, we're going to go ahead and open all these doors and just vent this. Okay. I'm going to take my people, put them here. Um, yeah, my people can go out here or here, wherever. Um, we are going to um, also open this door and this door and this door. We're going to turn off the O2. Okay. All right, good. 
Um, is this my person? What in God's name are you doing over there? Get out of there. Ah, uh, they made it. Okay. Um, so the rock needs to go here. Uh, and this rock can go here. You can go here. Um, we're going to hack them right away. Okay. So they're losing oxygen. This needs to be opened. They're hurting our weapons, unfortunately. Okay, good. All right. So we've hurt them significantly. They're going to stay... Okay, they made it through. Um, we'll just go ahead and vent this room as well. I'm actually going to uh, close up these rooms behind them. Let me just vent this room only. Get the O2 back. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me put this back into dodge. Oh, I got to turn the med bay on if I actually want people to heal. Right. Okay, they're in. So let's send the Zoltan out. Okay. And let's send the rock in like this. I'm going to close everything up again. And I'm going to turn the O2 back on. And I'm going to send uh, this person to go fix this. Okay, wait a minute. Who's in here? Get out of here. What are you doing? If you're my person, are any of these my people? Um, the Mantis stay. Ma fan. Um, no, I don't think these are. All right, we'll just wait. Okay, they're hurt. I'm going to hit their... I'm going to use a missile right there. Um, okay, you can go repair this. You can go man this. Um, yep. How's it going? Okay, Martin is getting hurt. Okay. Martin, go to the mid bay. Uh, Mantis, get in there. Jones, get in the mid bay. Um, they're really strong. They should warp out at some point here. I'm uh, going to go ahead and hack their weapons. Okay. Um, Zoltan, go to the weapons. Uh, Mantis, go in here. Okay, is anybody dying? No, everybody's healing. They're trying to break my shields, which, okay. Um, understood. Okay, they're doing it, but our rocks are healed up, so they should be able to just go in here and, and finish them off. Okay, Jones is still hurt. Get out of here. Goodness gracious. They are not beaming out. They're just keep staying there. Like, look at their health, and they're not teleporting out. They have a breach on their ship, at least. But sweet Moses, I'm going to keep using missiles on them. I really expected that they would leave by now. Put the Mantis in there. Killed one of them. Okay, they got a fire. Okay, killed another one. Here, go over here. All right, Rocks, you can come in. All right. Um, they have no oxygen here. <laughs> There's a fire. That's good. Um... They're fighting to the end. Okay, they finally teleported out. I'm going to just put everybody back in their systems. In their proper rooms, anyway. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and turn the burst laser back on. Here. Um, and we'll fire the hull beam once it charges. Uh, I can't disrupt their weapons because they're destroyed. That is a good point. Right, let's get these shields fixed up. Mantis, actually, can you fix up the shields? I know you're not the best, but we need some help here. Let's not take any more damage. Good. 
Their shield is down, so that means we can hull beam um, like this for fatal. Oh, they survived with one hit point. I can't believe it. And they teleported somebody into the cabin. All right. Um, okay. All right, so they're doing some damage here. I'm going to send in some people to go fight them. Their ship has exploded. And we'll just... Um, great. We got 60 scrap here, 3 fuel. Oh my gosh. Look at this. What a haul. Yes. That's so good. All right. So we have to fight them. So we'll just monitor this and send our people back, you know before they die, of course. Um, and they're not going to. Oh, I forgot about the explosion of the Zoltan. Luckily, Philip didn't die. All right, get everybody to the med bay that needs to be in the med bay. Are you good? Get out of here. Uh, anybody who's hurt, get in there. Heal up. Rock, get over here. All right, and so now we have enough scrap so that we can buy an extra power bar. And this will allow us to basically... Um, we're going to buy one more power bar. This will let us have everything powered. And we still have some. Remember, we repair when we go to the next section. Or the next sector. Okay. Um, so, let's see. You can go over here. You can go heal. Thomas, where are you at? Um, I need you back in here. Thomas, you need to heal up. Let's get everybody full. Full. Send everybody back. That was a, like a very intense fight for micromanagement, intruders, you know, all sorts of things happening. Um, but that's how the game gets as it gets more complicated. And luckily, uh, let's close all the doors. We were able to survive. So unfortunately, we really have to go to the exit because of how weird this is. Like, I would love to have another couple of nodes, but there's nothing else up here. And we can't get down to these unless we're at this node. So we can go here, get in the warning, and come here, and then have to come back. And it's just not worth it so we'll see if there's anything here for us um they want two fuel for two drone parts and ah, we don't actually need that um we're gonna reject the offer and we're gonna jump and we have finally made it to the last stand so let's go okay you arrive at the outpost close to the federation based your access codes get you past the initial security and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What's the meaning of this? Who are you? Explain your mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Terzeal of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Tully responds, it is settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. Your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel. The other repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. All right. So uh, we could have taken that trade because they do give you 10 fuel right there. And you see, as I, t I mentioned, they repair you. Uh, but we're going to want fuel because we're going to need to jump around a bunch. So let's take a look at the map. So this is a different one. And let's... Um, Sector 8, the last stand, has a dialogue box over here that says, The flagship will destroy the Federation base if it spends three consecutive turns there. And here's the base right here. The red rotating flagship, which is over here, on the far right, in icon indicates its position. When the jump line from the ship is solid, it will jump to the indicated beacon on that turn. So right now the jump line is uh, dashed, so it's not going to jump um, yet. It's like working on it. Repair stations partially repair for free. So you can hit all these repair stations, and they don't just repair. They give other supplies as well. So we're going to try to head up to the base as fast as possible and see if we can find a store or anything. All right? What you want to do is go for the ship fast, at least I like to, because whenever it starts to turn these nodes um, into uh, rebel control troll areas and you're going to have a hard time getting around so let's go ahead and see if we can win all right and we found a rebel fighter and they want to fight obviously they have a 
Uh, they have a crew of four, five humans. A flat gun, a laser, a missile, a beam. So they've got an impress impressive uh, array of weapons here. So it's time for us to uh, really turn up the charm. So we're going to go ahead and try to hack their weapons. I'm going to fire a missile. You know what I do? I'm going to turn off my hull beam and turn off my Artemis and charge my breach missile and try to hit their shields with a breach missile, if possible. Because they have three bubbles of shields. Okay. And they've uh, come onto the ship right here, so we'll just kind of do this for now um, and take the oxygen away from them. I'll turn it off and just see if we can get them to choke a little bit. Uh, all of their weapons are charging. I'm going to try to freeze this right before their missile and now. Okay. All right, they're in the med bay. Uh, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and close these. I'm going to turn the O2 back on. And we can indeed fight uh, in the med bay because we can just heal up. So it's no problem. We're about to have Breach. I'm going to put Breach right here on their shield. Oh, God, we missed. No. That's so devastating. Okay, they did hit us with their missile. Um, we're putting out the flames. Let's go ahead and send the rock in to help out. Put the Mantis back here. All right. That's a shame. Okay. We're actually getting torn up. Uh, so there's no shame in just jumping away right here. We don't need to fight this. Like, we could win this, and with the extra scrap, we might be able to put something together. Uh, but it's not its not an ideal circumstance. I'm going to go ahead, though, and see if I can, you know, hit their shields with my breach. Okay, we did. And then um, we're going to uh, turn this off and turn this on. Hit the shields with the burst laser. Gosh, we missed so many times right there. I'm going to hack their weapons. Uh, they've beamed back on, which, okay. This fire is kind of ridiculous. All right, um, I'm going to send... Actually, I need to send you over to fix the O2 immediately. We're losing O2. Uh, okay. All right, burst laser fire right here. And hull beam, once it's on, I need you to... Uh, sweep across like this. All right, we did, Oh, man, we hit their missiles. We hit their weapons. But we did not take off their missile. I was really hoping that we would. I'm going to put Artemis back on. It's not going to work. Um, we're just going to have to pray that we can dodge right here. I'm going to jump away. I don't like to do this. We could fight another ship and be in really bad shape. Um, we're going to jump. And we need to take care of this problem. So we're going to go here. Uh, we're going to send you in to help repair the O2. Um, you can uh, go back here. Let's close this door. Get in here. I need everybody to repair the med bay. Dude, get in there. There you go. All right. Um, and, okay, you have to get out. Okay. Uh, we're no longer losing O2. Let's get over here. We have to fight them um, because we can't... Ah, they damaged our ship. I was hoping that we would be able to get them before they did that, but we did not. All right. Yeah, it's getting really tough, isn't it? Um, okay. And we killed them. And we're going to repair everything here. 
send everybody back. Actually, except for Jones, I need you to go here and heal up. Ekman, you have to heal up too. Um, you can leave. Philip, go here. Let's get everybody full. It's a terrible situation. But the good thing is uh, nobody died. So we're actually okay. Um, we're going to just go back. And we can go to uh, the base or repair place uh, and just get ourselves patched up and get some more supplies. There's a possibility that we don't have enough to win uh, and beat the flagship. But what I'm more interested in is at least showing you the flagship fight because it's really interesting. Um, oh, gosh. they the, the flagship jumped and took out two of the repair stations. Gosh, that's really unfortunate. All right. Let's hit the base. All right. And we're going to... Uh, they're going to jump here. I'm just going to wait for the flagship. So you can actually just wait in your current location. And here comes the flagship down here. And we're just going to jump into the flagship and do the first phase now. All right. So this is the flagship. Um, and it says, if you're able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There is no turning back. Indeed. All right, I'm going to pause it. We're going to turn off Artemis missile, and they're cloaking right away. We're going to turn off the hull beam and turn on the breach. Now, this flagship fight actually lasts in three phases, and you'll start. You'll blow off the left side, then the right side, and then have to fight the center section. So what we want to do is try to do as much damage as fast as possible and get through these phases. Okay? So they have hacked our piloting, which is really frustrating because it takes our dodge down, but it could be a lot worse. All right? So let's go ahead. We're going to hack them, but we can't do anything until they come out of cloak. All right. So we're going to send our hack over. And what system do we want to hack? Well, unfortunately, the flagship is a little bit different because... As you can see, it has these rooms that are different weapons, and they're separate. Now, there's pros and cons to this. The disadvantage is you can't just hack all their weapons because they have unique weapon systems. But the advantage is they can't repair them. So if you break one, it's gone. So that's definitely something that we want to think about doing. I'm going to try and hack their shields uh, and see if we can get through in that way. All right. Okay, we got their shields hacked. Now, remember, um, the way that this works is basically that when you try to hack their shields, it will slowly deplete them. So that's what we want to do, but we got to wait for our breach missile to um, go in. Now, you see they fired three missiles at us, and this is their missile launcher right here. We want to take this out with everything that we can. Like, we have to hit that. Um, oh, they took out, well, I was going to hack, but we can't right now. It's on fire. Um, that's a shame. Okay. So soon enough, um, I'm just going to, um, just wait. We're going to fire our breach missile right here. Okay. See if we hit. Oh my gosh, we missed. <sighs> I mean, that's kind of like game-breaking right there. It, it's a little bit RNG. Like, it's a lot of eggs in the basket. But now they're cloaked. We can't see them. Um, and, you know, that has happened. So anyway, um, I'm going to send uh, this guy over to try and repair the... Put out the flames. Okay. All right, going really badly. Um, here we go. Okay. Uh, these flames are just insanely numerous. I'm going to send this guy over. Oh, he can't. He's stuck in there. That's right. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to the med bay. Try to fix this up. Um, we can finally hack their shields. Which I will do. And try to get their shields down a bit. Okay. Um... I'm going to fire the laser here. Okay, we did hit their shields slightly. 
And I'm gonna actually fire my breach right here. We have to hit this weapon system. Um, if we don't... Okay, now this missile is gone. So we've taken out their missile forever. So that could be um, massive. Okay, uh, we need to do a few things here. We gotta vent this room, just like that. Then, um, we need to get this person out so that I can just vent this and uh, I'm going to turn off the O2. Our shields are being messed with, which is not great. Okay. Alright. Okay, the, the hacking is fixed. The fires are out. So we're going to go ahead and close these up. And I'm going to turn on the O2 again. And I'm going to get some people in here to, like, repair this breach. Okay. They've fixed their shield, so we're going to put a, um, a breach missile right at their shield. Okay. And we'll take these people into the hospital. Okay, um, who's my shield expert? My Zoltan, right? No. This is the best I've got? Huh. I thought I had somebody that was good at shields. Guess not. No, this is my person. They're just uh, hurt, but I need to get them back on shields immediately. It's broken. Uh, you need to fix shields immediately. And we're trying to fire. Okay, we got it. So we've hurt their shields significantly. I'm going to put my burst laser in there too. I'm going to turn this off and turn these two on. Okay. This would be a perfect time. I'm going to fire um, Artemis there when I can. All right. So we have to wait. Gonna close these up. If we can survive this phase, we have a chance. We've taken out their missiles, okay? Um, okay, okay, we don't need to actually fire at their shield room anymore. It caught fire. All right, so we're gonna fire our missile right here. Okay, good. We're gonna put the burst laser here as well. Okay, this system is gone. And then we're going to take our hull beam and just sweep it over as much of their hull as we can to do damage. Okay, look at that. They're at one hit point. Okay. I'm going to fire my missile. Okay, we got it. We cleared the first phase. So whatever happens, at least we cleared that. And we got some rewards, and we're good. Um, now, they're going to try to come at the base. So we need to just wait here, unfortunately. Um, and we can't repair. It's really, really sad. Well, everyone, I'm back from a little break, and I've been thinking about it. And, you know, there's a lot of things that I have to say about how our first phase against the flagship went. First of all, it went poorly. Um, and... One of the things that I didn't realize, because I normally don't run two missile systems at the same time. In fact, I, it's so rare that I would do that. But um, because of the way everything shook out, that's what we've got. And it didn't even occur to me that um, when I couldn't be firing my hull beam because their shield was all the way up and there was no purpose to doing so, they had four bubbles of shield. I'm sorry, my burst laser. I should have turned off my burst laser and been double firing missiles. That could have um, gotten us through that situation faster so that we didn't lose as much health. Additionally, uh, 
you know, if I wouldn't have missed with that first breach missile against their missile system, it's like if that would have hit and taken out the missiles on the first go, uh, we would be doing so much better. So there is a lot of variability when you're using missiles, which is painful. Um, and I, I believe that at this point, we have lost too much health to win, uh, especially considering if the next phase of the flagship is drones, and if they have a bunch of defense drones up and we can't even use missiles, um, we're going to have a real tough go of it. Um, but at least it's educational. At least you get to, you've been able to see like all eight sectors of the game and the flagship fight. It's important to say that like while I've played a lot of this game and I know it very well, I don't win every time. Um, even on easy, it's hard. Like, um, there's players that are tons better than me, and I still have a lot to learn, but that's why I like playing the game, is to try to get better, try to understand where I went wrong, and, you know, uh, things... It's important to expose this to you if you're a new player, how quickly everything escalates at the end of the run. Like, you might be doing really well, and then things can just turn over on a dime where you get a certain ship or something that just wrecks you at the end. And the flagship is always hard. So um, we're going to have a lot of problems with the next phase, but we'll at least get to see it. So I'm going to jump us back to the base, okay? Um, and here we are, okay? So we are ready to fight, and here they come. So they have a defense drone, all right? Um, but I don't know if, I don't think the defense drone can take two missiles at once. So we're going to, uh, turn off our hull beam and turn off our burst laser and use both of our missile systems. Okay. Addens uh, additionally, I'm going to think about what I want to hack and I'm actually going to hack, uh, their drones and then we can fire our missiles to, to freeze their defense drone. So let's just do this. So on this phase, you'll notice that the left side of the ship has been blown off. So they don't have this weapon anymore, but this missile system that they have, which is super devastating, does get repaired when you face them again. So we want to take this down as quickly as we possibly can. And that's what we're going to try to do here. Um, all right. Okay. Now, in addition to, they have an attack drone, or they have a combat drone. In addition to that, they also uh, send over boarding drones. And boarding drones are a little bit different um, than what we're used to because you can't vent them. They don't breathe. So you just have a different strategy against them. Now, I need to heal people, um, but I'm going to send... Um, my mantis over and we're gonna fight the boarding drone now unfortunately they breached this room so it's gonna be really really hard for us uh, but we need to deal with that now uh, once my missiles are charged this room still has oxygen it hasn't lost it completely yet uh, I'm gonna s no I'm gonna keep that there um, I need to send this person over here to fight I want to kill this thing as quickly as possible so we can repair the breach. Okay, so when it says warning power surge detected, this is when they're about to unleash a whole bunch of drones on us. Um, and it's super unfortunate. So we need our shields to come back online if possible. I'm going to go ahead and hack them right now. Okay, so uh, we at least have one bubble of shield. We've hacked them. And I'm going to uh, fire my Artemis at their shield. And I'm going to fire my breach missile at this missile because I've got to take it down. Oh my god, we missed with both missiles. Okay, I'm going to open this up to, to try to oxygenate this a little bit faster. Um, okay, they repaired the breach. Good. That actually is probably game over. I mean, and that's just how hard this game is. But the fact that we just missed with both uh, of the missiles, um, that's just, that's it. Like, we're not going to be able to recover from that. If we 
hit and took out some of their damage dealing capabilities right there, took down their shield maybe, um, we would have a chance. But unfortunately, we now don't. And, you know, it's pretty it's pretty unfortunate. Like, their, their evasion shouldn't be that high. Uh, we just must be rolling pretty badly. It's a massive ship. You wouldn't think they would be nimble or able to dodge. Um, but apparently. Okay. Uh, so we're going to try to get those going again. And we're going to see if we can survive this power surge. I'm going to send everybody back uh, to their stations. So now you see the power surge. What they've done is they've released a whole bunch of combat drones um, on our ship. And this doesn't last forever, but we have to, like, try to endure this. All right. They've set a fire. Um, I'm going to have this person come over and try to help with the fire. Okay. Uh, they've sent a boarding party back over. All right. Um... I need you to go to the med bay and heal up. All right. So they still have their defense drone. We have to wait to hack their drones and try to shoot them again with our missiles. Um, okay. Here comes the power surge. Okay. And here we go. One, two, three. Um, they're in this room. Okay. Okay. I'm going to send everybody over to fight, and we're going to hack, and I'm going to send the breach missile here, and I'm going to send this missile here. Okay, that time we hit with both. So that means that uh, we have severely damaged their... We've taken out their missile capability. Okay? So this missile is gone. It's offline. Uh, so that is fantastic. All right, now this is a fire. I'm going to vent this room to just get rid of that fire. Uh, we're trying to repair this before we suffocate, hopefully. Let me open this. Okay, they did. Good. Um, I'm going to get both of these people into the med bay. Like this. Um, anybody else hurt? Okay. Okay. Now, this guy is immune to fire, so it's really not a big deal. I'll go ahead and close these doors. Um, okay, they boarded us in our shields, which is a big deal. We move this over here. Um, we're going to move everyone in to fight. Okay, who's getting an annihilated? Oh, the Zoltan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And we're very, very close to uh, firing our breach here. You know what? I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to fire the breach at, at the drone and fire the Artemis back at the shield. There's a possibility uh, that we can just switch over to lasers in a moment. All right. We need to get our hacking back online. We can't. Okay. Um, I'm going to hack. And we're going to fire breach here. And we're going to fire Artemis. Um... there okay here comes the power surge uh, we did hit the shield okay good we took out their drones um, it's not going to stop the power surge I don't think but we did damage their drone system significantly and let me just see notch is here uh, can we kill this bot we did all right repair the room yeah, look, they're, um, we did four damage to their drone bay, but it has more than four hit points because it's not entirely disabled, uh, which is, you know, terrifying, uh, but that's the reality. Okay, they fixed it. Oh, God. Um, hull critical. Okay, everybody, uh, here, Zoltan, you move in here, and then you people move over here. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is getting rough. Okay. Um, fire the Artemis. At the shield. Alright. I probably need you to move over here. Okay. Dude. Oh, you can't. Okay, yeah. You move here. You move here. Alright, they're repairing the drone bay. Okay. I need you to take out this fire immediately. Uh, close the doors. Um, okay, uh, their defense drone, unfortunately, is back online. I need someone to fix hacking, uh, two people. Go do it now. They fixed the breach, unfortunately. Okay, power surge detected. Okay, I gotta hack them out. We're gonna fire... Um, a breach missile at their shield and an Artemis at their drone. Okay, good. So we did hit this down to hurt their shield. Honestly, one more hit with the breach missile um, and their toast. So if we can just hang in for a little bit. Um, I'm going to send everybody back to their stations. We're down to zero dodge because our piloting is messed up. Um, so I'm going to get two people in here to repair. Okay. And uh, I'm going to fire the Artemis missile. Right there. Missed. That's a shame. Okay. Uh, we got our dodge back online, which is good. Uh, send everybody back to their systems, and then uh, their drones are still... No, the, dis the drone is back, so we got to wait uh, to... They're going to power surge us. We got to wait. Okay. Immediately, we hack, and then I'm going to fire um, Artemis... at their shield and breach. I'm just going to put this uh, right there. Okay, we got it. So we barely survived that, um, but we did. And we're down to one missile. All right. So... We're at our base. They're jumping over here. Now, normally, we'd have a place to go to repair, but we just don't have that. So, we did survive phase two, but uh, we used all of our missiles, so we're going to have to switch our strategy to lasers, uh, and that's okay. We'll still do the same thing, fire two waves of missiles, take out their shields, and then switch over to um, lasers. Now, at this point, what we need to do is figure out what we want to upgrade because we do have some scrap to spend another option is we could jump here it's not a shop though like if it was a shop oh my goodness you know we'd have a chance um but i think we just jump and fight them so we need to just go to our ship and say what do we want to upgrade Let's go ahead and upgrade our hacking uh, to give them a longer disruption. So if we upgrade hacking um, like this, okay, we'll have 26 scrap left over, which, you know, we can upgrade nothing with that, but this is fine. This will let us um, disrupt them for longer with a hack. We have four drone parts left to hack. We're good on that. Um... And we'll see. We'll at least get to see Phase 3 before we die. 
So just to be clear for education purposes at this point, uh, we have four hit points. So we're going to get annihilated, but we do make it to, to stage three. And then if you look at the jump, um, unfortunately, the base doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't repair you. It doesn't give you anything. Um, it's just something you have to protect from the enemy flagship. We could wait here if we wanted to, um, but, you know, there's really no reason to do that. Now, the only thing I will do at this point is I'm going to try to heal everybody who's not at full health. So I'm going to take um, this person out. We'll close all the doors. And I'm going to take um, everyone who's healed. I'm just using shift, left click, and I'm going to try to move, start moving people into the mid bay, get everybody topped off. Okay, I'm going to push enter, have them all go back, and then I'm going to put these two people and get them back. So just, let's just have everybody that we can heal. Oh, these are not the right people. Get back. I meant these two people only. Yeah, go in there. So, when we jump over, um, we're going to be in a situation where we only have two missiles left. I could just turn off the Artemis and turn on the burst laser. And the reason I say that is, um, I think we probably want to fire two breach with our two last missiles to try to actually do some serious damage to some systems and just see what happens. All right, let's just push enter, turn everybody back to the stations. Oh, that rock walking so slowly. All right, and we're back up to 40% on um, our evasion. And let's just do it. Let's go here. And now we're here. If you're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it has sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to the teleporter as well. Some kind of super weapon. Be prepared. This is it. So they're going to beam people on board potentially. Okay, they have, um, they've changed their kit. They have mind control. Um, which is annoying and here we are so what do we want to take out um, this appears to be missiles so we've got to take that out uh, and we've got to take out their shields if we want to do any damage at all all right so we're going to pause and it says intruders detected but they really just mind controlled our mantis um, so they'll take down this room probably that's, that's we just have to accept that um, Uh, we can't hack because of their super shields. We actually can't send missiles either um, because of their super shields. No, we can send missiles through the super shield, can't we? Let's just try. Anyway, um, I'm going to just have to try to shoot their shields with my burst laser. Uh, so this is a bad situation, right? Okay, now they've beamed these people on board. So we're going to do this, we're going to turn out O2, and we're going to let them, you know, suffer the consequences. I, could, I guess I could have just upgraded my doors, maybe. I'm not sure I had enough uh, to do that. But uh, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and get this person in here ready to go. Okay, we did not take them down. All right. Um, they... the Our mind control person damaging the system has hurt us. Um, all right, so now we're going to send here. I'm going to go ahead and turn O2 back on. I'm going to close these doors. And I'm going to send this old in here. Oh, we got hit by... A missile, apparently. Um, we'll fire the breach missile over here if we can. And let's see. We're doing fine. Um, but if this person... If they break the shields, then we lose. And that's just probably going to happen. Because this mic control is lasting uh, a pretty long amount of time. And I don't want to kill my own Mantis. Um, you know what, though? I might have to. Um, just to stop them from damaging the shields. So all this is 
Uh, I'll move this. I'll move everybody in here. All this is going to do for us is just distract them so they don't damage our system. Um, we did knock down their shield. I missed with the missile. I'll, I'll try one more missile here. Power surge detected, which is the super weapon. They've sent basically everybody on board our ship, which is, you know, fairly staggering. And we lose. Missiles. So, again, it was just one of those situations where um, we took way too much damage on the first phase. But again, like, this is, this is why the game is very challenging and swingy. Like, they hit me with all three missiles, even though I had... I guess I only had 30% dodge at that point, but I couldn't hit with my missile, um, and I missed with my missiles uh, on the first volley most of the time, which would have completely changed the outcome, but that's the game. So, you see how on the first phase, you know, they've got a full ship with lots of weapon systems. Missiles are the main threat. The second phase, it's drones, okay, um, and a big surge of drones. And then the third phase, they start to board you, mind control you, and um, have missiles and their super weapons. So we needed a lot more health to play with there, and we just didn't. We also got really unlucky that all of the repair beacons disappeared immediately following the first phase of... Uh, I mean, we, we went to the, the ship quickly and fought it, uh, but just no places to repair anymore. So, say la vie. But... We did a good job, we made it far, all the way to the end, and you got to see the entire game with the Kestrel. I hope that you found this guide helpful. I still have a lot to learn, and hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and make it this far on your own. Again, this is not a game that, um, it, I didn't make it to the, you know, flagship the first time I played. Um, I would get blown up, I would die from fires, board, getting boarded, all kinds of different, th running out of fuel, like, and getting killed by a, you know, a tough ship or whatever it was. There's just so much learning that has to happen as you get better, but it's a really, really fun game, even though it's challenging. And I hope that you find this to be useful. I'm thinking about maybe doing one where I start again on easy mode, but with the NGA, um, a different ship, and just show you how the, you know, the game works with uh, a drone-based ship, see if we can, um, you know, sneak out a victory, maybe. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I still don't even win every time because uh, the game is very challenging, but I enjoy it. Everyone, I hope you enjoy playing FTL yourself, and I'll check you next time. Take care.